agents at Anthem Blue Cross. The Medicare annual enrollment period is right now, and you may be eligible for a plan today. Call 800-978-2297. That's 800-978-2297. 800-978-2297. Watch Off the Clock, today at 2 on KTLA 5. Good morning, I'm Frank Buckley. We're monitoring some breaking news in the San Fernando Valley. That's where LAPD responded to a call about human remains found in a bag. What we know about that investigation coming up. Good morning, I'm Lena Bovian live here at Hollywood following a three hour standoff, a man on an LA Metro bus with a gun, how it all came to an end, plus how a robot dog came in to resolve this situation. That's next. Good morning, everyone. I'm Carlos Herrera in Porter Ranch. Another round of gusty Santa Ana winds are here in Southern California. And, of course, increasing the chances of wildfires. The steps that the state is... Good. Once again, winds are blowing around there. 74 today for the coastal area, 77 downtown. San Fernando Valley shooting for a high of 76 degrees. High desert 68, Inland Empire 74. News this morning out of Encino where LA paid. That have been found in a bag. KTL is Rich Prickett in Sky 5 HD with more Rich. Yeah, Jessica, it's near the intersection of Rubio Ave and Ventura Boulevard here in the community of Encino. You can see the uh, investigators here in the rear parking lot of a strip mall where a body was found at about 6:15 this morning. They're saying. canopy that's set up near the right behind some homes here on Rubio you can see the corner is just now arriving here there's very little information uh, as far as the surroundings of the body being discovered here but uh, detectives are here on scene there is a uh, uh, large crime scene set up here near Rubio and Ventura Boulevard and of course as we learn more we'll pass it along that's the latest from Encino I'll send it back to you in Hollywood. All right, Rich, thank you for that. New details this morning about that Monterey Park woman who's has drowned. The 29-year-old was in a remote area. Say, while on a kayaking excursion, she went for a swim and she did drown. Her kayak was later found, no sign of Eng. She works for the Alhambra Unified School District where she assists students with disabilities. Eng's family hired a private search firm who says they have covered 99% of the lake and she has not been located. The LAPD deployed a robo-dog to help bring a standoff with an armed man on board of a Metro bus to an end. You may have seen it live right here on KTLA. Our Alina Bovian live now in East Hollywood with more on what happened. Alina, good morning. Jessica, good morning. While well, everything ended peacefully today, the suspect... Melrose and Western is back open this...
part today. We saw it in action, this new technology for the LAPD. So take a look at this video. This is from earlier this morning where it all went down here in Hollywood. The armed suspect was taken into custody with the help of this robot dog. LAPD SWAT officers deployed the robot dog to assist, saying the use of this new technology helped resolve the situation without putting any officers or community members in harm's way. We've seen these robot dogs come in handy during similar situations over the last few months. Despite some pushback, this new technology was approved and funded earlier this year by the LA City Council, a near $280,000 project for the LAPD. And you can see here in this video, this robot dog staying very close to the suspect as he surrendered to police. This comes after a near three-hour standoff, which started around 4.30 this morning here in Hollywood. A 911 call came in from a passenger on the LA Metro bus saying that another passenger was asleep and had a gun under the seat or possibly next to his feet. The bus is an LA Metro bus which was going northbound on Western this morning approaching Melrose. The driver pulled the bus over waiting for the LAPD to arrive. The suspect was supposedly sitting motionless and sleeping. Pretty soon the LAPD set up a large perimeter around the area and a SWAT team was called. The robot dog was deployed to retrieve the gun from the